Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to modify Super Mario 64 DS levels. So all you will need for this video is an R4 card with an SD card inserted. You will also need a PC and a USB adapter so you can connect your R4's SD card to your PC. So go ahead and connect this to your PC and I'll show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so I will leave a link in the description to this webpage and here it is. The um, Super Mario 64 DS level editor. All you want to do is um, scroll down and here are the download links. So you guys want to get the latest version which is version 2.0 beta 3. So just click that to start the download. So it's going to download very fast. Here's just a screenshot of what it looks like. Um, as you can see it looks really cool but I'll, um, I'll open up the program and show you guys what it looks like anyway. So once it's finished downloading, head over to your PC's download folder. From there, you can find the zip file. So what I've got here, guys, is an original Super Mario Bros. Um, 64DS um, ROM. Um, this is a Europe ROM. This actually works on, I think, every ROM. Yeah, here you go, USA, Japan, and Europe. This works on all versions. So you guys need to get this. Um, you can get this however you want. You can back up your original game like I did, or you can get it off the internet but you will need um, Super Mario um, 64DS ROM. So once you've got your ROM and the software, all you want to do is right click this and then do Extract To. It's then just going to put it in a file folder for you. You can then just go ahead and open the file folder. Inside of this is the program. So here it is guys, this is the EXE. All you want to do is just double click on that. Now it's going to ask you to open a ROM, so all you want to do is just click Open ROM. Then it will bring up your downloads folder. This is where you need to select your Super Mario 64 DS ROM. So it's going to say the ROM needs to be patched before it can work with the editor. Um, if you want to keep a backup of the original ROM, um, just click delete yes. I don't need a backup because if I want the original ROM again, then I can just get it back. So I'm just going to click no for this. It's then just going to patch the ROM. And here it is guys, this is everything on the ROM. So these are all of the levels, all of the places. You can edit all of these one at a time, and it's really cool. Um, for this video, I'm just gonna edit the um, castle grounds, just so I can prove to you guys it works and um, without having to go further into the game. So once you've chosen the map you want to edit, click on edit level right here. So it's then going to come up with the level editor GUI. So this is actually really cool. Um, if you want to have a look around the screen, um, you hold right click and then you just move your mouse around. And if you want to move places, you just use the scroll wheel on your mouse. So just point to where you want to go and then scroll in like that. So as you can see, here is the original first level map. Now we can completely customize it. So this is everything that's, these are sort of all of the models which are inserted. So I'm just going to probably do some random stuff. I'm not going to make a professional edit or anything like that. You guys can want, you guys definitely can if you want to spend the time, um, but this is just for this video. So if you want to move something, all you have to do is just double click it. You can then drag it around however you wish. So I'm just going to put the tree like that, um, sort of half sticking out. Let me just move around a few of the trees um, just to prove they work. So when moving objects, you can also move the scroll wheel towards you to bring stuff closer or further away. So let's put some trees on the path here, because obviously they never grow on the path like that. Okay, so let's, um, you can turn stuff as well just by selecting it. But I know what we can do, let's just flood the map. So let's bring up some water like this. Oh, look, now the map's flooded, so we should spawn in water now. Um, if this is working correctly. You can just click off of stuff to remove it. Um, let's just see what else we can add in. I think I think there's a mystery one up at the top of this, at the top of the castle.
cannon as well. You can move that around. So I'll probably just leave that where it is. But yeah, guys, this is um, really awesome. If you're interested in level editing and you're not too sure or you want a, a starting point, um, this is actually a really good program to use. So as you can see, I've just kind of messed up the game a bit. Um, now, once you're done um, with your editing, all you want to do is just click up here and click save. That is it, guys. As simple as that. Once you have clicked save, um, it will then overwrite it onto the original Nintendo DS file. So once you're done editing, all you want to do is just click the cross button. Click the cross on this as well. Go back to your downloads folder and here is your ROM with the save file installed. So now I'm just going to copy this across to my um, R4's SD card um, just to show you guys that this works. So all you want to do is just drag and drop on the root of your SD card. So there it is guys, that is it for the PC. Now I've proved to you guys that this thing actually worked. Okay guys, so once you're on your DS, go ahead and boot up your R4. Now you can scroll down and just find your Super Mario 64 DS ROM and press A to start it. So just select Adventure and then just select a new file. <laughs> Guys, so there's some proof that it worked. Um, we can already see the water in and um, the map's pretty much flooded. So here is the original cutscene, um, but the flooded version. So here we are guys, we finally get to play the game. So as you can see, it worked, it's really cool, the whole map is now flooded. I could have brought up the water a bit more, but there you go, it doesn't really matter. Um, here is the 1-up that I placed, so let's see if that works. There you go, it actually worked. And here are all the trees um, that I put um, on the pavement, so you can even like climb up them still and everything like that. So yeah, if you want to get into custom level editing, this is a really good place to start and practice. It's actually really fun um, modifying levels and seeing how much you can mess them up. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.